My daughter's name was Kayla Nicole. I'm going to tell you this funny story. Um, me, my, I'm, I, I'm light complected. My, 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 my kid's mom, she's dark. She's dark skinned. So my, one, I had one daughter that was light like me, and Kayla was dark like her mom. All right? And I, I came home one day, and uh, Kayla was always wanting to show, show me that she, you know, she learned something. And she's laying on the floor. She's like, hey, daddy. And she's laying on the, on the floor, and she's coloring her coloring book. And um, I, I kept and sat down beside her, and she looked up at me, and you know, she kept on coloring. I was like, you know your colors? And she's like, she's like, yeah, I know my colors. I was like, I said, okay, I just stopped pointing. I said, okay, what, what color is that? And, uh, that's red. I was like, okay, okay, what, what color is that? That's purple. I'm like, okay, what color is that? That's orange. And I don't know what made me think about it, though. I don't know what made me do it. I pointed to her skin, her, her hand. I said, okay, what color is that? What color are you? She said, she said I'm black. I said, oh, okay, I said, what, what color am I? She said, you white? And then looked up at me. And, like, and it was funny because she looked at me like she'd never seen me before. And that just made me laugh so hard. I just, uh, that's just one thing. October 19, 2014, a stray bullet came from an outside window and shot her instantly. But if you would know Alexandria, we had so many, we have so many, so many funny stories. If you would come in this room and you will ask him for a dollar, and that was the only dollar he had in his pocket. Without thinking twice, he would have gave it to you. That's the kind of person my son was. My son's name was Matthew Rogers Jr. He was murdered November 20th, 2016. And as you know, that's around Thanksgiving. And that was actually his favorite holiday. He would call me all night. Mama, what you got done cooking? Can I come over and be your taste tester? <laughs> Look, give me a chance. I'm not going to cook yet. And I just don't want his memory to just drift away in the backdrop, in the dark, or fade. You know, so as long as I have a voice until I die, I'm going to always commemorate his life. So over the next two and a half days, we have got an enormous amount of work to do. Today, we are in a workshop with Sarah and Rex from the Irene Taylor Trust, and they were training us on how to write songs. We're going to be working with Purpose Over Pain, which is a group of families who have lost children to gun violence. We're going to be interviewing and meeting the parents, and the result is gonna be these personal pieces of music related to telling their stories. What we try to do is focus on what it is that's going to paint the picture. So we're looking for the things that really make it about the person that we're writing the song about. We're going to have a challenge that we don't usually deal with, which is trying to create something and be productive when we're dealing with some of the most serious material you can possibly imagine. Being faced with like a grief that I can't even begin to comprehend, like how do you, like what, what do you do in a situation where a parent is crying? Just be human. You know, and, and imagine if you were upset about something, how you might want somebody to respond to you, and then your response will be correct. One thing that I'm nervous about is making sure that what we do really honors them and their children. We want it to really feel like it's their piece that they've written, and we've just kind of done the nuts and bolts of, but really it's theirs. So do you all want me to share with what I wrote? Absolutely. Okay. My beautiful black boy. I sing God breathe this creativity all over you. My son, you are a true work of art in the making. We can really shape the rest of the song to be centered around those words and okay. the message that you say in the very beginning, I think. I want to celebrate his life. I want to make sure his life is celebrated to the fullest. I was very, very nervous. This is going to be the very first time I have ever did anything like this ever. That's the, that's the intro. There you go. No, no, that, that was that was 
Perfect. Yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, the, the rhythm was right there. But to work with the musicians was wonderful. They worked well with me, helped me get my thoughts together. Would you like to be speaking on the song at all or singing on the song at all? Um, I remember when she was little and it would rain and we would sit and we would sit by the bed or whatever and I would always sing and she would always tell me, Mom, sing that song. And again, I would make up my own words because I didn't know the words myself. So I would sing, um, Ali, Ali, ocean, free, free, free. Won't you come and stay with me? We could build a tree house way up high and watch the little birdie swimming. It's hard to imagine that we can make a difference against such a giant problem, against such a huge grief, but hopefully we can put our talents to use, creating something that's as unique and as special as their loved ones are. Hopefully we can help. So small, squeaks running across the bed to kiss me before I left This was not what I was expecting. It wasn't. I'm just completely blown away by this. That was me and her, you know, and, and no one was there, you know, but me and her mom. But uh, that's what happened. And now it's a song. That's, that's amazing to me. We were very nervous about playing it for the families because it's so important. The stakes are so high. We, we were nervous. But the families seemed to really like what we did. It felt good. I thank God for the gift he gave me, her beautiful smile, her hazelnut coffee. Love you, Alexandria. Cool beans. <laughs> from losing a loved one. It was amazing. It was unforgettable that so many wonderful, talented people could come together and make such a beautiful, meaningful song in such a short amount of time. It means a lot. We were gifted such incredible stories, and we just tried to be as good of vessels for the amazing stories that we received. Um, and I hope we were successful in that. Sorry. The project is over, but I don't know if it's really over for me. I definitely want this project to kind of inform the way I go forward with my life as a musician. This has definitely changed me. I hope the 
the public will feel when they listen to these songs. You know, everything that we felt while writing them and everything these families have felt dealing with this tragedy. I think we should all feel heartbroken. I think we should all feel angry. I think we should feel like we want to change the way it is, because we can. To be the bread.